What questions would you ask a ninja? Will Amazon Kindle thrive in retail stores? And now that Flash is dead, what are all you iOS haters going to harp on now? I'm Diana, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report. I'm Chris Perillo. Diana is now on assignment. Apparently, there are some fingernails that need to be repainted. Major media studios put a lot of time and money into their productions. Obviously, we're not spending much of either on our productions. An audience with access to broadband internet has made low-budget web series thrive. Be sure to see if Matt Ryan's top five web series you should know about includes your favorites. And he looks forward to killing you soon. If you've got a Sprint Epic 4G and you've been waiting for an official way to upgrade to gingerbread, the wait is finally over. Many of the newer Android devices have been sporting gingerbread for a year, and if you want gingerbread on your Epic 4G, Angelo Carosio shows you how to get it. No baking required. Run, run, as fast as you can! You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man! With Siri on the iPhone 4S and recent news that Amazon has acquired the voicemail transcription app Yap, it seems that everybody is talking about speech recognition now. But it's still not a perfect technology, and the kinks are still being worked out. Siri, are you kinky? No comment. On LockerGnome.com, Ron shares common mistakes that people make when using speech recognition software and how he maximizes its performance. This just in, I ordered a teleprompter yesterday. Most prospective Kindle buyers know that they can go directly to Amazon, click on a few shiny buttons, and have one delivered quickly to their home. But there are still a few people, filthy savages really, who still like to shop at real-world retail stores. Recently, Amazon announced that it will begin selling its successful line of Kindle products. Will this translate into more sales, or will it simply mean that Best Buy will have to make room and start selling less candy? With our reporting on LockerGnome.com, discover where you can get your hands on a Kindle Fire in your neighborhood. Do you hear wedding bells? Yes. That's not funny. Hiring a professional wedding planner may be your course of action once the incessant weeping over the gravity of the task ahead subsides. Kelly Clay looks into a new startup called Wedding Lovely, which will help you find the best wedding planner for your particular needs from a pool of smaller professionals rather than relying on big corporate wedding mills. They have wedding mills? Ding dong, the flash is dead. Adobe Flash, that is, not the guy who wears a red suit, drinks too much coffee, and runs around in a blur. Adobe has finally announced that it will no longer be supporting the mobile Flash player. A lot of people blame Apple for giving Flash the final push over the edge by refusing to support it on its mobile devices, that is, iOS devices. But really, if Flash didn't happen to be a technology well past its prime by its own faults, it would survive just fine with or without Apple's blessing. Find out why Matt Ryan says that you shouldn't be so much of a crybaby over Flash because HTML5 is better anyway. <laughs> My favorite thing of the day is this animated GIF by Kevin Staff. This is actually what I do when I'm not recording videos. And yes, it's pronounced GIF. GIF. And you know who told me that? The person who invented the GIF. Our correspondent of the day is... Hey there, um, I'm Steve. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Touchfire. And uh, we just came up with something that we think is really cool. It allows your iPad to feel like a regular keyboard. <laughs> Touchfire is a thin overlay that goes on top of your keyboard and lets you type on an iPad like you would type on a regular keyboard. It gives you the feel, it gives you the force resistance of a, of a regular keyboard, yet it is so thin and light that it literally takes up almost no room inside your iPad. So it's in there right now. It is in there right now. And check this out. It lives in the cover. It just goes away. It rolls with the cover, if you want to roll the cover up. So it's not there, but it's always with you. So when you need it, you just put it down, and there you go. A project funded by Kickstarter? This is a Kickstarter project. Come check it out. If you would like to pre-order one, if you'd like to get one, um, go to www.touchfire.com and back our Kickstarter project. If you want to be included as a correspondent, simply upload your 30-second clip to our Questions to Answer YouTube channel by way of lockernome.com upload. Keep it pithy. 
anything goes. Our YouTube comment of the day is in response to the very first TLDR, Siri, Kindle, Google TV, and Marriage, Cat My Thoughts writes, Chris, three thumbs up. Uh, I, I know where you have two of your thumbs, but where are you sticking the other one? Where did you get the other one? Is that a thumb? Our blog comment of the day is in response to five web series you should know about. Christina Haberjam writes, I also highly recommend Transmedia web series from Toronto, Ontario. Tights and Fights. Fantastic show. Our backlink of the day is thanks to Confluence Media, Empire Avenue 2.0, and why Chris Perillo is a winner. Thanks also for making a headline that's easy to turn into Chris Perillo is a wiener. Really. Thanks. Our question of the day is being asked by iFreak Show on LockerGnome.net. Out of the Star Wars series, which one is your least favorite episode? Why? My least favorite episode is the one that was released years after the original trilogy. Yes, I'm counting episodes 1, 2, and 3 as one movie that should have stayed in a galaxy far, far away. Our Nomi of the day is Kevin Connolly, a.k.a. t which is Blist, spelled backwards, right? He's shown us how to control Microsoft Windows with Kinect before, and he's still working on getting a Kinect to control his own bodily functions. Please keep that video to yourself, Kevin. Thanks for liking this video. For more tech news, reviews, how-tos, simply follow us on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to the LockerGnome.com RSS feed. Feel free to post your questions and answers on LockerGnome.net, too. My email address is chris at perillo.com. My blog is chris.perillo.com. And we're sharing information live, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. With Siri on the iPhone 4S and recent news that Amazon had... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, it's the shirt. <laughs> yeah.